afternoon, afternoon, everybody. Michelle is back on November 9th, 2023, on a Thursday, on the West Coast, on the east side of town, baby, baby. I am drinking stuff, okay, eating stuff. And oh my goodness, I have been working on putting up some curtains. And these are some of these heavy duty curtains. And I have been putting, I have been working on it for for about an hour or so. And I know a lot of, you know, a lot of people stay home around here because they, I mean, not stay home, but a lot of people are up around here during the day because they work at night. And a lot of people around here, I think it takes a little while for them to kind of settle down and get to sleep. I remember that's how it was for me. I, I enjoy working overnight because I can find a time to put myself to sleep or rest per se and then be able to handle and stay up overnight and usually during the day you would hope that everybody is gone to work you know these nine to five so uh workers so i again i enjoy working overnight because it's usually was very peaceful and uh, everybody was either asleep or, you know, minding their own goddamn business, hopefully. <laughs> and set between 2 a.m. to 5 p.m. That's when s certain things start happening. More so than, you know, a lot of lot, lot more crime usually happens around that period. You know, the, the, those high-profile crimes is 2 to 5. But that may have changed because since we're overpopulated, crime is going to be happening 24-7. Okay, somebody's going to get pissed off during the day, during the night, during the evening, during the morning, during the afternoon. It's not going to take much to set somebody off anymore because because it's either something about property, you know, something materialistic, or it's about their privacy, they're, they're being infringed on, and this and that and the other. So, but anyway, so I have been, I did everything I could to get this, this uh, these curtains up. But uh, after I injured my shoulders a couple of years ago, it, it just hurt. It, it it causes a lot of pain for me to be holding my arms up over my head for a while. So I finally had to call for help. How about that? Somebody come over and help me out and put my curtains up, and they look really nice. They're gonna they they change the ambiance in here, and I like it. They're supposed to block out some noise. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I can already already feel the calmness of it, and having you know. Not because people can look right in here, you know. A lot of people are just, you know, people, a lot of people are just looking in, looking out because, you know, like I said, they're home during the day. Uh, they may work at night and they're trying to get to sleep, so they look outside and they probably saw me <laughs> struggling to put my curtains up. <laughs> well, they're finally up and they look good. How about that? So, anyway, I wanted to come on through and talk about something that I have been wanting to talk to for a while, but I'm doing everything in my power to not offend people and that but that's not my intentions is to offend but I told you I'm a warrior I'm a protector defender and lover okay and I told you you know my advocacy is for women black women specifically and black lesbians as well as um black trans but I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes about the complexities with that Ooh, wow, a bit tart. I told you when I was growing up, you know, as a young woman growing up during my adolescence, I was confused about everything, to be honest. I was confused about my sexuality. I was confused about what I wanted to do with my life. I was just confused, confused, confused. Okay, had no idea what my purpose was, what? That was foreign to hear that. You know, what is my purpose? What do I want to be when I grow up? You know, there was just a whole lot of things to discover and to develop, to develop during those adolescents, which were extremely, extremely important. And I told you I was thankful to have the parents I had um, growing up in the household that we were protected in and realize how how grateful I am for that experience because a lot of people did not get that kind of experience. And so what experience are, am I talking about? Well, the ability 
and the uh, necessary experiences, whether they were failures or successes, which is irrelevant, I got an opportunity to get the best experience an adolescent needs in order to develop themselves, or a human being needs in order to develop themselves. Okay, I told you about our, my parents, and I've got plenty of videos on there about them, how uh, they were some, they, they both were complicated. They both were complicated. My dad was brilliant and excellent. My mom was brilliant and excellent. But, you know, let's just say they all were both complicated. My mom was more complicated because because of the, the factors of, of, of what she was dealing with which were um, uh, not seen to, uh, you know, not necessarily known to my siblings. And I can say that with complete confidence. Um, a lot of my siblings were focused on themselves, which, I, which is understandable. But they were, uh, as I said, dealing with their own realities and dealing with their own situations. I told you I was the last one to leave the house in my early 20s. And because I stayed around as long as I did, because I felt like something was going on with my mother. And to my, in my opinion, she was suffering from severe, severe depression. And that had been common, that had been cultivated over a course of decades, in my opinion. And I I'm just saying it to my, I'm just saying it is because there were so many of us in the house. There were so many things that she had to be concerned about and responsible for, and she did not have the time to take care of herself. My mom was an extrovert. My mom liked having good times, bringing people over in the community, having barbecue, backyard barbecues, having the music playing, dancing around the house. But then at, when she's all in that, I call it that manic stage where she's happy, singing and dancing. Before you know it, she's dropped the beat. And she's yelling and she's screaming and she's just, and yelling and, 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 and she's um, angry in a rage. And then she'll get sad about it. So during the course of as she was getting older, she became more and more introvert. You know, that, that kind of personality where she... You know, she stopped socializing. She stopped doing this and that and the other. So she spent most of her later years babysitting other people's children and blah, 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 because, you know, that's what she, she, she loved nurturing and taking care of people. That was her, that was something she enjoyed, but then she started neglecting herself, and that's where the problems all started. Okay, good. I've said enough about that, and I put a video out on that too as well. Excuse me explaining those kind of complexities that I witnessed as I was growing up. But what I wanted to talk about more so than anything is about this, um, and, and this brings us to why I'm talking about this now, this assault on, bio on biological women, okay? This assault, this is, there's an intentional assault, okay, whether it's uh, verbally, physically, or otherwise, on the biological woman, okay? And so I'm going to speak specifically to the, bio the biological black women, okay? I'm going to speak on that, on that behalf. And I welcome any others that will come forward and also talk about what I'm about to talk about and give your theories and opinions, okay? There has, I have noticed over the course of time, uh, you know, that there has been this assault and this um, targeting of biological women. And I'm like I said, I'm going to go specifically and say biological black women or biological women of color. There has been this targeting, harassment, okay, and this, um, this full press um, garbage of disrespect towards biological women more specifically, bio, biological black women. And guess where it's coming from, believe it or not? It's not coming from men, it's coming from trans. These trans females are the ones that are spearheading a lot of it, more so than ever, where they're coming out and assaulting and having an issue with biological women. 
Okay, like I said, I I I I've been pay, I pay attention to what's going on, and there is this assumption that biological women have to justify that they are biological women. Okay, so I'm going to address it and give my opinions on this right now and let you know that I've been paying attention. I've allowed people to give their theories and opinion and go on and rambling about this and rambling about that. But one thing I'm not going to sit back and, uh, and not voice my opinion on is this, this need to target biological black women because they're biological black women. And for a lot of these trans, quote unquote, women coming forward, just not all of them, I, I, uh, let me just finish this first and I'll say something else. It's coming from these, from the so-called trans women who were born men, but they decided they, they want to be considered women. Okay. Everyone has their free will to be wherever they want to be, okay? But there has to be some logic and reason as well to your identity. Do you agree? So in other words, why are you getting upset with biological women and, 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 and announcing to the world, like we allowed someone to announce to the world that all intents and, what did they say, all intents and purposes, they are a woman. Let me get the, the quote. And I, like I said, I was so busy dealing with uh, dealing with my uh, toxic environment in my job, and you know, and keeping and attempting to save my job, save myself from being intentionally targeted, and and uh, you know uh, these. Um, erroneous attempts to get me fired and claiming it's because I had an attitude, okay? I had an attitude. And that's always geared and, and targeted towards black women. Oh, she has an attitude, okay? And all this, which turns out to be, causes a toxic work environment to say that someone has an attitude. That means absolutely nothing. But a lot of people are in a trance and indoctrinated to believe that that means something negative. Okay, I put a video out a while, uh, probably last year, about how to call, to say that a woman, more specifically a black woman, has an attitude. Okay, a lot of women get fired for such garbage and nonsense because someone says that they have an attitude, which means absolutely, goddamn it, nothing. Okay, chances are that black woman may be dealing with something at home with her children, she may be dealing with something at home with her finances. She may be dealing with things at home about her, how she's going to put a roof over her head and her kids, how she's going to feed her kids. So instead of going around worrying about whether she has an attitude or not, I said, well, why don't you go up to this woman and ask her, can you assist her in some manner? Instead of immediately targeting her, saying she has an attitude, and then giving her poor performance, and then, and, and then she'll eventually get fired. Or something to that effect okay it's discrimination okay it's discrimination and it's an intentional targeting to say that someone has an attitude okay that's a bunch of garbage it's a bunch of rambling and it's harmful when you don't know the situation and whether the, the, these women have some some are having a mental men, mental episode a stressful episode or this or that and the other Okay, I, I know for a fact that that happened to me. Okay, so I know what it means to be worrying about whether you're going to keep have a job and knowing that you're being targeted because they want you to be submissive, subjective, and subservient, which I will never do to no one. I will give you respect. Okay, but there is no way ever I will be subservient and submissive to anyone. So, 
now we have this situation with these with the with the so-called trans women okay coming out and and going all over the social media about how much of a woman they think they are and yet they're targeting biological women okay they want to they want to they want to take over biological women's sports you know they want they want the men go ahead i mean i i i can guarantee a lot of uh women more specifically black women can care less actually if you want their man if their man wants to be with a trans woman let their man they'll let their man go to a trans woman okay and and it's a lie for any man to come forward and say they don't know the difference between a trans woman and a biological woman that's a lie okay like i said i allow stuff to just be said i'm paying attention i observe sometimes i'll sit back and observe for a while and i did with this because i want to be clear and effective at the same time i want to be respectful but i also wanted to to, to uh, uh clear up all of this contradiction and this 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 intentional targeted targeting biological black women okay i told you when i was a young girl i thought i was a young boy running around acting like one of the boys but thankfully i had the environment where my parents wasn't trying to force nothing down my throat they wasn't trying to indoctrinate me they just were doing everything they could to allow me to be a upstanding human being be a upstanding developing human being and they out and they told me the things that they wouldn't tolerate they told you know in other words they they made it clear that I was going to be taking responsibility for how I was acting and behaving and that they were not going to be saving me from nothing okay um and even though we had all this complexity and complications in our household I knew love was there there was love in the community and the culture I should say there was love in the culture yes there were predators in the culture yes there were this in the culture drugs prostitution the the whole everything that that is that is expected in a society as we lead okay everything was there okay and that environment created brill- brilliancy and excellence okay and it helped to evolve my consciousness so if, if it wasn't for the black community or the black culture who knows where i would be now okay so that's what it's all about but once again as i was growing up like i said i was confused about my sexuality too i was running around thinking i was one of the boys but thankfully i had the room the necessary space in my household in other words even though there was a lot of us there we had the we had the places where we can go outside go to the library take a walk i used to love to drive around and go to certain parks and sit at those parks for hours i used to bring one of my nieces with me we would go to every park in the city and just sit there and enjoy being in the park you know you know sometimes having picnics i used to like going into the malls walking around the malls brought my little niece with me as well in other words i had places to be able to explore and discover and expand my consciousness and understand wait a second i'm not no little boy i am a woman i am a biological biological woman and i love my biological womanhood and it doesn't matter what my sexuality is okay i am not going around believing or thinking that i am a man that's disrespectful actually in my opinion when i know i'm a biological woman and it's also disrespectful for me to go around and tell biological men how to act and how to behave okay that's that's disrespectful and it's just as disrespectful to go around and telling white europeans how to act and behave i do not represent white europeans i do not even represent black women but i am an advocate for black women and black lesbians and some like i said black trans women and i say some because like i said there's some uh usually of european dis- descent that are going around targeting specifically black biological females okay and calling them calling them names calling them saying they're ugly saying they're this and that but but keep in mind most trans so called females i say so called because hey i don't know i have no experience with trans genders but i am not going to stand by as i said and allow them to disrespect biological 
more specifically biological black women. I sat, I sat, I, I, I took a year or so before I would address it. I was going to address it last year, but I said, no, let me just, let me just see what's going on here. Um, because I, like I said, there's this, this perception going around about black women, biological black women, that they don't love their children, that they don't love their community, that they don't love their culture. It was a bunch of bullshit and nothing but lies and deception. Okay, but yet you're going to tell me that someone who was born a man, let's be clear and effective about it. They're going to tell biological women how to be biological women? Okay, so we allowed this, 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 uh, this quote to go around from someone uh, specific, and we know who it came from, when they said, all intents and purposes, they are a woman. Now, what the hell does that mean? Okay, well, let's see. What does all intents and purposes mean? Let's look this up here. It's, it, I guess it means all practical purposes or virtually. I don't know what the hell that means. It says here that it dates back to the 16th century. Um... It, the, the, the original phrase was to all intents, construction, and purposes. Hmm. And it says it became popular to say all intents and purposes. And it means in every practical sense or virtually. All right, yeah, that still is not very clear to me. I mean, I know what all intents and purposes are, but I'm just wanting to understand why this person felt as though they had the right to say that. For all intents and purposes, they are a woman, even though they were born a man. Okay? This, let's, let's answer that. But yet, what's the hell, what, so what's the problem with biological women that were born women? Where's the, where, where's the, why is the target there? Are they all intents and purposes biological women? All right. Let's go to something else here and see what else I can pick up. It's like people, it's like, it's like n no matter what's going on in society, the black, the biological black woman is always the fault. If you pay attention, okay, whether they're calling them whores, bitches. And that comes from all cultures. They could say it. With uh, with ease, calling people whores, and they don't, and they and hoes. They know hoes is usually a derogatory term towards black women, and the people that are saying that non-black people, they know that they're being der derogatory and offensive, and they're doing it intentionally. By the way, especially if it's coming out of a white European male, feminine in nature of German ancestry. Yes, I said it. I guess, I don't know, all intents and purposes versus all intensive purposes. Who knows? And I'm not going to look up what, what was said. It was said all over the, it, that, that was said all over the world. And no, I mean, I know that there was some backlash about it, but the media supported it. Certain media outlets supported that. Had no issue at all. When someone came forward and said those things, they made this person, you know, the woman of the year. And so what do you think biological women are, are, are thinking about when all this is happening? What, why, what is biological men saying about this? Okay, but I know the, fi the feminine ones, the, the, the biological feminine straight males have no issue with it, obviously. Again, if you can't, if you tell me, you can't tell the difference of if you're fucking a biological woman or fucking a transgender woman, you're lying. Okay? Here we go. So, I wrote a poem, some, you know, last year. And I want, I want to read it right now. Um, I wrote this poem because I want this, I want my nieces and nephews to understand as I said, my nieces and nephews to understand what is happening and that I did not stand by and not say a word. 
about the the uh, the intentional discrimination towards biological black women and black lesbians, black lesbians too, and the intentional ongoing harassment and threats and targeting of biological black women. Okay, I wrote and and because I identify as a biological black woman a biological black lesbian woman that's how I identify and that's who I advocate for okay I don't represent all of us but I do advocate we we ought to represent ourselves there's nothing wrong with certain groups of people representing a, a, a culture but all of us need to be allowed to control our own narrative and tell our own stories about how they want to be represented no one represent a whole race of people. No one represent a whole gender of women. No gender of men. No one person can do that. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I wanted to put I I like I said I advocate for um, for for black women because I have the experience of being a black woman. I told you it'd be disrespectful me for me to be talking about. Latino women, which I have a lot of respect for. Europeans, Caucasians, I have a lot of respect for as well. And I also have a lot of respect for some trans women, more specifically black trans women that are coming out and making it clear and effective that they know who the fuck they are. They're not, they get their inspirations and enthusiasm from biological women. Okay. So it's, ir it's, it's illogical to be targeting the biological women, more specifically black women, because they are biological women. And for someone to come through and say, in, in, all intents and perp in all intensive purposes, they are a woman when they were born a man, okay, that sounds illogical to me. And to be so proud of that, that's ridiculous. Okay, we need to call this crap out. Okay, if you are born a man, but you think you are a woman, where's the problem? Oh, it's with the biological black woman or the biological woman in general? I, I think not. I think not. Okay. Check out what's going on in your consciousness and ask yourself, why are you born a man and believing you're a woman? It's a belief, by the way. And I told you to challenge your beliefs. Okay. I grew up just like everybody else confused about my sexuality, but I had the proper environment to work it out and realize that I am a biological woman. I do not want to be a man. And it would be disrespectful, disrespectful for me to be walking around thinking I am a man when I know that I'm born a biological woman. I am extremely happy about that. I want to make that very clear and effective. Okay. I wrote a, I wrote a poem, uh, about a year ago, and it was to dear black women and black girls. All right. For centuries, you have evolved all cultures across this country, and even though there are covert attempts to disregard you, ignore you, filter your contributions to this society, these cultures, the world, you, black woman, have involved us and may have saved us from destroying ourselves. So you have to keep moving forward and not worry so much about whether you will be valued, valued, accepted, or even acknowledged. In all honesty, you may, not, you may not ever get the credit you deserve, but frankly, it's really not necessary. Because you have an ongoing internal flame which will never go out. However, stay present, observant, observant, and defend yourself and others in any way you deem is necessary. Sadly, I know the wounds are deep. Most of the harm and damage are unconscionable. However, if we have all been paying attention, we will notice the continuing patterns of laws, regulations, censors, which are con con constantly initiated in an ongoing failed attempt to silence the black woman. But if you look, if you have been paying attention to many of the black women of and from our history, this, not, this has not happened and will not happen. 
And that's, uh, that's what I'm saying. The attempts to silence the black woman. They're banning your books, your looks, your feminine traits, your hair texture, your thoughts, and your peace of mind. Keep in mind whether it's your lips, your hips, your ass, or your class. You are literally being eaten alive right before your eyes. Eaten alive right before your eyes. Please know this and continue to protect and preserve humanity with your existence of who you are. Your responsibilities are to continue to move forward while being, while being and existing. Unfortunately, you will not be completely rewarded for your efforts. Nonetheless, your DNA is all over it. Okay? I wrote that last year because I saw, I saw the patterns and I was paying attention. Because I like to pay attention to things. I don't like to just kind of jump in and go back and forth, back and forth. I give people the benefit of the doubt. And I recognize there was this, this intention with these so-called transgender, whether they consider themselves male or female, where they are attacking verbally, especially on the line, verbally attacking biological women, more so biological black women. And they have the nerve to come forward and assume just because they, they, they think they are a woman that they can call themselves women and biological women need to bow down to that. Okay, that's a bunch of garbage and it's a bunch of bullshit. Okay, and I appreciate those that have come forward with the courage to stand up to this garbage, okay? Like one person in particular, and they know who they are. I support you 100%. I send you nothing but love because you have stood up to this bullshit for a few years. You made it clear that you were born a man, but you perform as a transgender woman. You are not confused at all, and you know and you give praise to black women, black biological women, black biological feminine women, because you know, you said you got your in, your uh, your you got your inspiration from that. You're enthusiastic. You love black biological black women. You, as a trans woman, would not exist without the existence of a biological black woman. Okay, and I'm going to say this, and I'm going to end this. And um, like I said, my my intentions is not to offend people. Okay, I stood by long enough to listen to this garbage and it all started years ago because somebody can come forward and, and they claim themselves to be a woman and then have the nerve to tell biological women how to be biological women all because all intents and purposes you and your consciousness believe you are a woman it starts in the consciousness okay that's where it needs to be worked out okay do not take it out on black women do not take it out on black biological women black lesbians okay it starts with you the individual and your consciousness and your thoughts why do you think you're a woman okay and and why do you feel that it's necessary whoever you are all of you that you can attack a biological black woman that's illogical because without them you would not exist okay peace and love and trust me i'll be back